I'm going to quickly go over a few of the things you can do with layers on FilterStorm. Um, so here's our layers view. Uh, by default, the layers are turned off. That makes things a bit faster, but you don't get quite as much flexibility, so I'll go ahead and turn that on. Um, so each of our layers will get a view like this. It has uh, options, and if you tap on that, you can apply a filter to the layer. And if you tap over here, you can edit the mask of the layer. Uh, I'm going to back out for a second and go to my curves in here. So if I just go through the filter menu like that and uh, apply something, it'll by default apply to the top layer, but uh, if I go to apply it uh, through a mask, or if I uh, if the top layer ha already has a mask, then it'll, it'll create a new layer with uh, the contents of your change. So I'm going to uh, pull this back for the sky, go into mask mode, I'm just going to take my color range selector, select the sky, that's fine, and apply that like that. Now when I go back to the layers, you can see the mask nicely has the sky. And so what I can do now is I can tap <coughs> on the image for that layer, and I can go to hue and saturation for example, and I can pull it back or push it up, or I could change the hue and such, uh, the color balance and the rest of the image stays the same. I can also go to the layer beneath it, the background, and I can now change the curves for that, leaving the sky the way it is. A um, few more things to note, uh, you can hit this plus button up here to get a new layer. The uh, layer you add won't be a blank layer, and it won't be the same as the top layer. What it will be is uh, it'll have the contents of the flattened image as its image. Go ahead and delete that. Uh, you can also set blend modes and the opacity of the layer. You can see it changes back there and you can drag them to rearrange them.